Ibn Mas'ud radiallahu anhu said, the people will be gathered on the day of judgment, on the day of judgment, hungrier than they have ever been, thirstier than they have ever been, unclothed, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will only feed those who He wants and only give water to those who He wants on that day. On that day, the Prophet said, O Mu'adh, after Mu'adh had asked him a question, O Rasulullah, on that day when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will gather people, you know, one after the other, group after group, how will He gather them? He said, O Mu'adh, you have asked an enormous question. And then the Prophet went silent for a little bit until he cried and his tears began to seep down his cheeks and then he said the following words there will be about 10 types of ways other ways that people will be gathered on the day of judgment from my ummah from my nation here now the Prophet is talking about specifically the Muslims from the nation of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa and Allah will gather them in order to distinguish those among the other depending on their deeds and Allah will change their forms so that you will recognize them some of them will be on the shape of monkeys. Some of them the shape of pigs. Those who completely went astray. Either they were Muslims and they apostated or they were extreme criminals in Islam. Some of them on their faces and their legs upwards. And some of them are, are dragged on their faces, blind. Some of them are, are, cannot speak and cannot hear. Some of them, their tongues will be dragging on their chests and they will see, there will be pus seeping out from their mouths and drooling down on their chests. And everyone will turn away from them. Some of them, their arms and their legs will be cut off. <coughs> and some of them will have pillars extended from hellfire and they are crucified on them. And some of them, they will smell with a stench more worse than anyone has ever smelt. And some of them will be wearing clothes made of heat. He said, as for those who are the shape of monkeys, he said, they are those who used to go around talking lies about others or truth about others in order to cause fights between people. Naman, gossipers. Those who are in the shape of the pigs, they are the ones who used to consume the haram and they used to say the foul words and they used to <coughs> do the indecent acts. Those who are on their faces from my ummah are the ones who used to consume riba, interest for no need, meaning for no necessity. In another hadith, it tells us in the tafsir that, the, that this type of a person who consumed haram on the day of judgment, on the day of judgment will be resurrected choking he can't breathe he can't breathe at all and will be choking on that day so imagine being gathered and you're choking you're grasping for air that's their state because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says those who used to consume forbidden things whether it's forbidden wealth or forbidden food knowingly they'll be raised and their stomachs are full and you could see that they're huge stomachs on that day they can barely hold them they try to get up and they fall down and they can barely breathe because their stomachs are so full that it reaches their, their necks, their throats, and they can barely breathe. And they're deluded, intoxicated, like a person who's possessed. You know, when you look at a person and say he's possessed by a devil, he's crazy, and he can barely breathe and barely get up. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us this in the Quran. وَمَنْ يَغْلُلْ وَمَنْ يَغْلُلْ يَأْتِ بِمَا غُلَّ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ أو بِمَا غَلَّ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ Anyone who consumes forbidden things will come on the day of judgment with those things that he consumed. They'll, they'll come all together on top of him or in his stomach and it will choke him, can barely stand up. So different states that people come on the day of judgment. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in the Quran, الَّذِينَ يَأْكُلُونَ الرِّبَا لَا يَقُومُونَ إِلَّا كَمَا يَقُومُ الَّذِي يَتَخَبَّطُهُ الشَّيْطَانُ مِنَ الْمَسْ those who used to consume usury or give it. They will be raised on the day of judgment like one who has been possessed by Satan. So that state of anger, the state of, of craze, the state of delusion. Those who are blind are the ones who used to not judge well between people. They used to misjudge people 
and they used to accuse people wrongly. Those who are dumb and deaf, they are the ones who when they did a good deed, they used to show it off in front of people. I did this and I did that. I prayed, I donated, I am knowledgeable and they show off their knowledge and they show off their good deeds. Those who have their tongues on their chests and with drooling pus down on their chests, walking around like that, they are the ones who used to know what is right and do the opposite of it, meaning know what is halal and do the haram, know what is haram and they would tell people and they would do the opposite and never repent from their deeds. So they were constant people who constantly told people to do good or not to do bad and they themselves did it and never repented from it or never regret it, never felt guilt and never repented to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they died on that way knowingly and consciously. Those who have their arms and legs cut off they are the ones who used to harm the neighbors. Those who are crucified on pillars of fire they are the ones who used to go to kings and people in authority in fakeness in order to look better than others so that they may be given special treatment to other, other people. And those who smell with a terrible stench, they are the ones who used to follow their temptations and lusts and they used to prevent their wealth from those who are entitled to it. Those who wear clothing of fire, they are the ones who used to wear clothing feeling proudiness and showing it off in front of the poor, in front of the needy, in front of other people. Those who showed it off, who walked in proudiness, who walked in haughtiness, those who walked in, in vanity. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has forbidden upon Muslims and believers to walk in vanity. You know, the walk with the chest up high and the nose up high, that kind of a look. You know, back in my father's, in, in our country, back in, in our countries, in, in uh, parents' countries, they tell us that, you know, there used to be people who called themselves certain names. And they looked down upon other people and they called them certain names. And these two, the, the upper part were never allowed, were never allowed to mix with the lower part. Till today, they, he's told, my father told me, they still have this mentality. You're not even allowed to ask about them. Who are you asking about? Th those people? Don't ask. Don't even mention their names. They're nothing compared to us. How can you mix from them? How can you marry from them? How can you live amongst them? So this is vanity and showing off from Ayyadu Billah.